the automatic move. What happens in this move, you totally relax. You relax your whole body, mind, and spirit. There is no particular form to this. Let me tell you a story. When I was a little kid, uh, 10 or 12 years old, my mother would send me down to my dad's jewelry store. And for my dad to keep us busy, he'd give me a big ball of little gold chains and two toothpicks. And he'd say, untangle those chains. So I would work for hours with the two little toothpicks trying to untangle the chains. Once the chains were untangled, I'd pull out a chain. Then I'd go to the next one, pull out a chain. It would keep me busy for the whole day. Of course, he let me go next door and get an ice cream or a candy bar, but my job was to untangle the chains. When we're doing the automatic move in Qigong, we're doing approximately the same thing. Our meridians sometimes get stuck. Qi stagnation, blood stagnation, a disharmony of yin and yang. The energy is not moving. We have a series of meridians running through the body. The lung, the large intestines, the stomach, the spleen, the heart, the small intestines, the bladder, the kidneys, the pericardium, the triple heater, the gallbladder, the liver, and central and governing. These meridians should be in flow, like rivers of energy, in constant flow. If there's a blockage, mentally, physically, emotionally, spiritually, psychologically, what happens is it impedes the flow of chi, and what follows chi is blood and oxygen. So of course, we want blood and oxygen in our lungs and our heart. We want it in all of our organs. Because if the organs function properly, and if the organs function to their maximum, you can retard the aging process. This is the true anti-aging medicine. It allows the energy of the chi to move through the body at a smooth flow. Now, sometimes it takes doing qigong, sometimes herbal medicine, sometimes acupuncture, sometimes medical qigong to open the flow of energy to get everything moving. Of course we want everything moving, why? Because everything moves, you don't get any stagnation. If a river is roaring down, when I used to live in Colorado, I used to live about 9,000 feet up in the mountains, and that river used to roar down. If there was a blockage in the river, like a big rock, boom, the water would hit and spray up and the flow of the river would change. We don't want that to happen in our system. We want our chi to flow smoothly. So that's the reason we do qigong. Now, when you're doing your qigong practice, of course, you're breathing or you're moving in a certain way to open the different meridians. The lung meridian, the large intestines meridian, the pericardium, the triple heater, the heart and the small intestines all run through the wrist. So a lot of the exercise that you see, moving over a ball, moving out, those are to open those meridians and to keep all that flowing. That's why it's so important to keep your joints flexible and open. Flexibility is another key. If you can stay flexible and agile, of course, your muscles, your tendons, the meridians, the chakras, everything opens up. So in the automatic move, what we start off with is a standing position. I'll show it to you in a moment. The standing position is similar to the horse position in karate or a martial art, but we're standing slightly pigeon-toed where the toes are facing in. The tongue is placed up against the upper teeth, and then what you do is you imagine you're holding a ball, a ball of energy right at the lower tan tien. So, the important points are right here, the logung point on both hands and the lower tantien, right below the navel. Those are the three points. So if you can imagine you're holding a ball, this point, this point, and the other point, and you're holding that there for a while. So you hold it there and you start to breathe, breathing down the front and up the back. So you're starting to circulate the energy, but most of your attention goes to the lower 
Tan Tian. You allow the energy to build there so it starts heating up. Once the energy is heated, then you're going to start to move the energy. So you're going to move the energy from the lower Tan Tian around up your back to C7. C7 is that large vertebrae, that large one. They call it the big hammer sometimes. When the energy gets there, it splits and moves into the center of both palms. So when the energy is down here, lower Tan Tian, it's very yin. So now you want to move it from the yin energy to a yang energy into the palms. Yang male movement. So now we're ready to go. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to move that energy up over the top of our heads like we're pouring that ball of beautiful energy right into the top of our right into the top of our heads. When your hands reach eye level, you're going to close your eyes and bring the energy back to the lower Tan Tian. This is where the magic takes place. Okay. Once that's there, you just relax. You relax your toes and your fingers, you relax your ankles and your wrists, your forearms and your calves, your knees and your elbows, your upper arm and your, and your thighs, you relax your shoulders and your hips. You let everything start to relax. Bring your attention to your lungs, then to the large intestines, yin and yang organ. Then you bring your attention to your heart, to the heart and the small intestines. All right, so you got fire and you got metal. Now the earth, the stomach and the spleen. Let them relax. You're just telling them to calm down. To the kidneys and the bladder, calm down, relax. Liver and gallbladder. So you got fire, earth, metal, water and wood. You're allowing all of the elements to quiet down. You're still standing there, holding the ball of energy. Now that everything is relaxed, you start to open up and you'll find that the body will start to move on itself. It starts to unravel like those little chains I was talking about. As you unravel the twisted things in your body from all the confusion, mental, emotional, oh my goodness, the stock's going up and down, your real estate up, down, out. You're going to start to untwist that and free up the energy. Once the energy is free, the chi will start flowing and you'll become healthier, happier. <laughs> you'll live longer. All of your worries out the window. All of the stresses, you start to let go of those things. Once you let go of those things, you'll see you'll start to expand. You'll expand in your physical, your energetic body, and your spiritual body. And that is the key. So I'm going to show you how to do the automatic move. Begin standing with your knees slightly bent, your hands at the lower Tan Tian, relaxing your body, relaxing your hands and your fingers, your toes and your feet, your ankles and your wrists, your knees, your elbows. Now lift the energy like you're lifting an energy ball over the top of your head and pour the energy ball right into the top of the head. As your hands float down, Close your eyes and let the hands come down to the lower Tan Tian, a few inches below the navel point. Almost like you're holding a ball there, relaxing the body. Relax the fingers, the toes, the feet, the hands. Relax your wrists and your ankles. Allow your calves and your forearms to relax, your elbows and your knees, relaxing your thighs and your shoulders. Softly place your tongue on your upper teeth. 
and allow the body to move at will. No stress, no strain. Like the trees and the wind blowing through the trees. Notice how the wind slowly moves the trees. Allow your body to move. No hesitation. Be in flow. Let your energy move. Taking a deep breath of energy, a deep breath of air, and let it go. As you let the air go, allow your body to relax at an even deeper level. You'll notice that there is no set move. The body is moving. It's moving slowly and gently. Let it move the way you feel. Allow everything to go. No intentional moves, just slow, easy moves. Let the body stretch out and relax. As the body unravels, you will feel more relaxation, calmness, a state of euphoria. It's almost like the body is starting to untangle all the knots. Any blockage in your body will start to fade away as you move. You will notice that things start to unravel, unwind, and release. Opening your energy Move like the wind, moving forwards, backwards, opening, opening your heart, allowing the energy of the lungs, the large intestines, the stomach, the spleen, the heart, the small intestines the bladder, the kidneys, the liver, the gallbladder, the lungs and the large intestines to just open and flow. You're being totally relaxed and allowing the body to move. As the body moves, you will be unraveling, untying, and releasing any blocked energy. As the energy opens, the body will become more relaxed, gentle, soft, easy moving. Everything is soft, moving like a butterfly, very gentle moving from flower to flower. As the wind blows, the body moves, unraveling, releasing, opening, feeling the essence of life surrounding. It's almost like you are enclosed in a ball of energy. And as you're in this ball of energy, the body starts to relax and unravel all the tensions, all the stresses, all the anxiety, 
any worries, any preoccupation of the mind, of the body, of the spirit releases. Imagine that you're in encased in a big ball of water, just floating. The energy is constantly opening and releasing, letting go of all the tensions, any hastiness, rush, anxiety, any energy that's held in your physical body, in your energetic body, in your spiritual body is released, removed, dispersed, gone. Gate, gate, peregate, peresongate, bodhiswaha. Going, 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 gone. The energy that holds you in an uncompromised position, in an uncompromised posture, in a form of pain, uncomfortableness, unease is vanished, opening your energy body. Allow the meridians to flow from the lungs to the large intestines, from the stomach to the spleen, from the spleen to the heart, from the heart to the small intestines, from the small intestines to the bladder, from the bladder to the kidneys, from the kidneys to the pericardium, from the pericardium to the triple burner, from the triple burner to the gallbladder, from the gallbladder to the liver. Now opening up the channels of from the central and governing meridians, opening up the microcosmic orbit where the energy starts to flow in from the top of your head down to the sexual energy around the crotch and up the spine. So you have a microcosmic orbit moving where the energy is starting to circle the body, opening the crown chakra, the third eye point, the throat chakra, opening up the heart, the solar plexus, the navel point, the sexual center, the perineum, and then allow the energy to float up the spine to the crown chakra and then back down. A cooling breath coming down the front of the body, relaxing the body. A heating breath moving up the back, energizing the whole system. In the meanwhile, the physical body is moving gently like a tree blowing in the wind. The leaves are rustling, but yet the tree stands stable, strong, grounded, and rooted as the leaves blow in the wind releasing the energy, energizing the body, focusing the mind, enhancing the organs. The lungs are becoming stronger. The heart and the blood is flowing smoother. The liver is detoxing and unraveling any anger. The spleen and the stomach are starting to free itself of any worry, 
any digestive problems, any blockages. The kidneys are releasing all fears and bringing in gentleness. The kidneys are keeping the body strong, building the water element, allowing the body to move smoothly and yet strong and powerful with strong willpower. The lungs are letting go of sadness and grief and bringing in fresh oxygen and with the fresh oxygen it's bringing in valor and courageousness moving strong forward and solid accomplishing your goals your body is like soft cotton on the outside and yet the bones are strong like steel. The movements are gentle and yet powerful. There is no tension in the body. Again, take in a deep breath. Let going of all the tensions in the body as you release the breath, relaxing at a much deeper level relaxing the feet, the hands, the tendons, the muscles are relaxing, the joints are relaxing. Go in deeper, start to relax the nervous system. Go in on a deeper level relaxing even the muscles, the tendons, the sinews, relaxing the bone. Bring your attention deep into the bone, the bone marrow, feeling more blood flow in the bone marrow, strengthening the bones. Strengthening the muscles. Strengthening the fascial tissue. Allowing the energy to move out into your skin. Making your skin softer. More collagen. More elasticity beautiful soft skin releasing all the tensions in your face relaxing your eyes relaxing your eyebrows relaxing your nose your cheeks allow your ears to relax your mouth. Now allow the tongue to relax. Let your throat relax. Allowing the energy to open in every pore of your body. Now imagine another body, your second body, above your head. Relaxing the energy in all the chakras, all the meridians. Letting the second body totally relax and move as the wind moves. Allow your body to move, no tension. Taking a deep breath, pulling the energy down the front of your physical body and up your back. Breathe into the energetic body, bringing the breath down the front 
and up the back. Now bring your attention to the top of the head of the energy body. Bring it down the energy body, down the physical body, and then up the back of the physical body, up the back of your energy body, up into the third body, your spiritual body. Opening the chakras, the meridians, the energy fields. Bringing the attention to your head of the third body as you bring a cooling breath down the third body, down the front of the body, all the way down to the energy body. Allow the hands to float down as they float down. Your eyes are open, relaxing the body, bringing the hands back to the lower tantian, and then placing your hands over the navel. Hi, it's Dr. Wu, and I want to talk to you about a really important subject. When we do a practice, either if it's yoga, qigong, tai chi, we create a lot of energy. That's the idea of the practice. We want to move all of the energy in all the meridians, open the chakras, and get things running smoothly. Here, this is the meridian man. The meridian man, he has, this is, it depicts all the different meridians. The lungs, large intestines, the stomach meridian, the spleen, the heart, small intestines, the bladder, the kidneys, pericardium, triple heater, gallbladder, liver, central and governing. Now, what we want to do when we're doing our exercise, our practice, we want to get all the energy in those meridians moving. Why? We can eliminate the stagnation. So we don't want to get stagnant blood, we don't want stagnant energy, we don't want stagnant anything. We want the energy to move. So we work on our qigong, our tai chi, our yoga, our different practices to open up, our meditations to open up. Now, here's what happens. After you do your practice, you want to store that energy, you want to bring all that energy down to the lower tantian, like a big ball right below the navel point. It's a, they say sometimes, they will say at the cauldron, where you're going to store the energy in the cauldron. So you move the energy down, and you store it in the cauldron. Okay. Once you store that energy in the cauldron and you keep building it, eventually you have a power, a power source, a power battery, an energy there that you can use anytime you want. Now, I've noticed this. If you're doing your practice, if you're doing a workout, if you're doing anything that involves your physical, when you're through doing the practice, you want to be able to relax, take all that energy, like a, like a piece of coal. You want to compress it into a diamond, and you want to store it in the lower tantian. Once the energy is stored there, then the easiest thing to do and the most effective thing to do is relax into that energy. When we're doing the automatic move, we've pulled in everything, we've cultivated, we've stored, and we brought it all into the lower tantian. And now you relax. All the energy is stored there, you move it in the microcosmic orbit, around the crotch, up to C7. Sometimes they call this the big hammer. It's a vertebrae that's right here, right in the very back, you feel that big vertebrae. Then from the energy from there, it splits and it moves into both of your hands. Once the energy is in both of your hands, you're moving it from a yin position into the yang, ready for movement. Very gently, you lift this energy up like you're lifting a ball of energy and 
point it right into the top of your head. As the hands float down, I'll take off these spectacles. As the hands float down, when you get to your eyes, you close the eyes, let your hands float down to the lower Tantian, and then let the energy take over. You'll start to move, things will happen, whoa! It'll feel like you're out of control. That's just what you want. You want no control. You want to open up and let that energy heal you and move your body around. Keep practicing this. If you practice it daily, you'll have that chi moving through and you'll dissipate any form of dis-ease. It's Dr. Wu. Keep on practicing.